Hi everybody. Just getting some paints prepared. How we all doing? Tried the music thing. It's not not working in conjunction with some video, so we don't get music tonight. Sorry. Hey everybody. All right, so tonight we're gonna do something a little different. Um, I know we did a signature piece to start off with. That was kind of my comfort zone. So um, part of a personal challenge of mine um, was to recreate uh, the same piece um, or a similar piece uh, several nights in a row. I, I posted about that a little bit. Um, you guys probably saw that. Um, and that is a moonlight uh, beach water reflection themed piece and um, I'm gonna do that for you guys tonight um, because it incorporates um, a couple different elements that I didn't do in my first one um, it actually will incorporate uh, the use of a palette knife which I've had a couple folks ask me what I use that for and how to use that um, I was a little intimidated by a palette knife to start with. Um, I bought like this really cheap plastic set. Let me grab one. Uh, these are just kind of cheapy little plastic palette knives. Um, some of them come that look more like this shape in plastic. Usually they're um, in a pack with several different ones, and they're they're fun to play with um, and kind of get used to. They're a little intimidating at first if you're used to a brush um, but I, I like these because you can you can add some different textures um, I've done uh, let's see this one here oh, I'll show you this this one's done in all palette knife um, it's kind of intimidating you guys have seen that photo before or that painting um, so I've done that in palette knife um, I like to use a palette knife to do the reflection in the water uh, to break up the waves a little bit. Um, so you will get to that part here in a little bit. Um, so what I'm gonna be doing tonight for you guys is um, on a 12 by 24 canvas. Um, you've seen these, I've posted uh, a few of these, um, kind of the midnight moonlight piece. Um, gotten a good response on that. People really love that. Um, I actually started um, that piece when I had a canvas that was all purple, I was trying to do something with that and it didn't work, which that happens. Um, not every PC start is gonna look amazing at the end, so um, don't throw them away. You can always paint over them and, and it, it looks fun. So um, so I, I painted over it, um, kind of threw some colors in there, started working it and it, it looked kind of like a, a mirrored image um, of a night and water sky. So. Just kind of went with it um, so that's kind of what I'm gonna do for you guys tonight um, so it's a little different we don't have the starting out with a highlighted stroke and then in circles and swirls but we are gonna be using very similar pieces so we have our handy dandy Dollar General two dollar brushes these are so universal and fun because one thing that you can look here is that it's it's flat on the end so when you get to a point where you want to lightly hover over and do something to feather it out. You can use just the ends of those kind of nice. Most of the higher end brushes that you buy now um, have, they're kind of pointed to a tip and it's a little harder to, to feather in, in my opinion anyways. Um, and then we have um, a little upgraded palette knife. It's not a little plastic one. I like this um, and we'll be using that a little later for some highlights. Um, and then we will be putting a little tropical beach scene on the one side with some trees um, because we like trees right um, and so we have uh, some detailing a brush for that um, so uh, what I'm gonna do here is is I have a palette of uh, violet uh, white um, some blue we're gonna throw in uh, this is uh, this is bright blue and then some teal so we're gonna mix um, some of that stuff in in our sky and um, the white obviously is going to be for the moon glow um, and then some highlights and stuff later so we'll kind of see that so um, 
we're gonna get a nice little patch going here. Um, I do wanna thank you guys for tuning in tonight. Um, we're getting close to kind of where we were before, which is really great. Um, I'm gonna move this here so you can see, sorry. I'm still a rookie at this. So I am right-handed. Most of you thought I was left-handed. The video is backwards. Um, so we're gonna start out by just get, kind of getting this purple going here. And this is um, where you're gonna really start to see um, some blending of colors. We didn't do that before in the other one. Um, what you got to see there is um, more of a kind of a black and gray, um, white blended in. So now think about the night sky and the edges are gonna be in the highest are gonna be the darkest. So we wanna make sure we're thick enough paint there. And we're gonna drop right down to the bottom and we're gonna do the same thing here. So this is, we're gonna kind of build a mirror image of, of the night. Um, some people will use blues. I have just kind of really been digging this purple. Um, and we'll, you'll see how it blends. It is, um, it is one of those things that we're going to do with it being wet. Um, and again, we want to make sure we're catching that, that bottom edge. So if we're hanging it on the wall. It's still going to look cool. So we get the edges. All right. So I am um, hopefully here in the, the short term going to be uh, starting a YouTube channel as well. Um, so I can do uh, whether it's daily or every couple of days, we're going to be doing some videos. Um, I hope you guys will jump over there when I get that all set and follow me doing that. Uh, that'll be fun and exciting. So, um, haven't done a whole lot in the last few days. I've been kind of enjoying my last couple days of vacation <laughs> for my real job. Um, so, and again, we're, we're going to put the moon in this area here. So we want the furthest away to be kind of dark and then we're going to get it a little bit lighter as we come closer. So I like to start with edges. There's a little of this dark purple. Um, and we're gonna do the same thing on this side. I think you guys can see everything. Okay, good. And again, that helps us get these edges to you, so. It's nice when you got a, a workbench that you can get paint on. And you just don't have to worry about messing up your kitchen table or whatever, that's what I used to paint on. So, all right, so we got our edges painted. Got some purple going. Cool. Um, and this is all going to be covered again. We're just going to kind of blend. So keeping, keeping things rolling, we're going to jump right in um, to some of this blue. This first time using this, we're going to see how this works. We're just going to throw some of this down into the sky. And you got to mirror it on the bottom, just like you with the top. And we're just kind of getting a base layer going. We're going to make sure our strokes are nice and long all the way across because if you pick your brush up here you're going to see a little swipe mark um so that's why it's it's nice to work on these smaller canvases if you're doing this kind of thing because your arm doesn't get super tired <laughs> um some of you may have seen the uh the large canvas i did it was a 48 inch wide so four foot wide um scene like this and i was strong <laughs> like back and forth and trying to keep a straight line yeah that got super fun all right, so we got a nice little um, blend going here. Let me throw a little bit more in here because we're gonna come in with some teal here. Keeping in mind that this is gonna be, ooh, we got a little fun little piece of plastic in there. Super fun. Thanks for showing up on that one. How are we doing everybody? All right, we're close to 100, all right. Sorry, I get kind of lost in in the moment here. How's everybody doing? Good, all right, let's grab some teal. I love this color. All right, we're gonna come right in with this. And again, we're just trying to get this stuff on the canvas wet and it will start to blend as we go back and forth on this. Now, you can, you can kind of play with this and, and go into the purple a little bit because really nothing's gonna be you know, uniform and perfect on this. So work that back up into the sky, get some into the highlights here. 
remembering you're, you're grabbing some purple as you go through that top. So when you come down, it's gonna blend some of that down into the blue as well and into the teal. All right, we're kind of getting there. All right, so you got some, some wispiness to this. I'm actually gonna grab just a hint of purple here. Not too much. Just kind of come right through the middle here. Just to break that up a little bit. Um, per personal preference on that. You might get a, a good blend the first time and, and leave it. I'm just gonna kind of see where we're at with this. And it's kind of hard sometimes to tell. I got a nice glare over here. So when I'm working from this angle, can't really tell. So you might, might want to move around a little bit. Hopefully everybody can see this. Get some more purple in here. It's probably be nice and dark. All right, now see what happens. I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm gonna take you a little bit closer. Is what, what'll end up happening. Oh, sorry. Um, is that you get some areas where it's it's dried out and the brush goes over across and it picks up. It's doing the same thing here. It'll pick up that color and take it away. Um, so that is not what we want. Um, so we're gonna get, we're gonna always go back in there with that purple. This is a process. It's not just laying down one layer and calling it good because it does dry at different stages and leaves different marks that you got to kind of figure out where you want to stop. Remember keeping those long strokes so that you don't have any weird little kind of brush strokes on the top. All right, let's see where we're at with that. Cool, I want a little bit more on that end. Sorry if I'm blocking you guys' view. Top and the bottom looking pretty similar. See, now we're getting, it's getting moody with me now. Okay, almost there. sake of the video I think we're good there all right um, so we can kind of see that we got a mirrored image here um, some people can work on this vertically and, and kind of do it that way I've done that too um, and now we're gonna come in um, with the horizon line um, so we grab our palette knife these are fun to do um, and then you can just kind of feather this you're gonna want to it's gonna get kind of fun you want to make sure that you're giving a straight horizon line. Mine looks a little crooked, so it's a good teaching lesson here. It kind of goes down on this side. So we're going to come back in here, a little bit of teal because we don't want it to be super dry. When we come back in, we're just going to redo this. Okay. So, you know, Bob Ross has got his little happy little mistakes, right? Well, we just made one. And it's a good teaching lesson, so we're gonna come right back, feather that out. Cool. All right, change it a little bit. You can see there's a little bit more blue in there, but it's not really gonna matter. Um, so we're gonna to wanna to come back in with this highlight, and we're gonna hopefully not create that same line again. Cool, much better. All right, cool. I love teachable moments, that's great. Perfect, so now we got our horizon line. We're gonna use that same white and that same palette knife to come in we're gonna do the moon so we're gonna do the moon over here and we're just kind of dabbing some of this in here um, I'm not gonna do a solid moon because it, it's kind of a moody sky right now and we're just gonna kind of play with this and get some get some white in here 
All right, and we don't want it super thick. Um, so that's why I'm using a palette knife and not a paintbrush because this just kind of, you can kind of dab it on here. And you want to create kind of that half circle moon, um, maybe a little rounded off. So it doesn't really look much like a moon, but we're gonna, it'll, it'll show you here in a second what we're gonna do. So then you come down to mimic that in the water here. You guys can all see that, right? So we're just kind of mimicking that in the water. Now obviously the water reflection is a little bit longer than what we would see in the sky. So we can kind of taper that off. Now remember that what you see in the water is gonna be a lot wider at first and narrower as you get towards oh, further away from the moon. Cool, all right. So, looks kind of funky, right? We take our dry brush. Dry is gonna pick up and not smush and blur all this other stuff we have here. Now this gets a little fun. This is probably when I cuss if I screw this up. Um, so we're gonna come in here and we're gonna pick up just a little bit of paint here, like this, back and forth. And we're gonna do the same thing on the bottom, just very lightly across the tips, right? Now, you can't just leave it like that. So what we have to do is we have to go back and forth across the whole painting. Now, you wanna do the same amount on either side because you saw it kind of, it moved all the white paint one way and we don't want that. So um, we wanna come back and forth just like that, kind of blends that out. Same thing with the bottom here. So now we're gonna have that color coming across it. I want to make sure that we're picking up those highlights. Now, it picked up too much of the color here, so we're going to have to go in and we'll use this other brush. A little bit more finesse to this video than the last one. The last one is pretty straightforward. You get a couple things done and you're on to the next one. Well, this can be temperamental. And we're we're kind of playing playing with fire on some of this when when we go back into dry paint with a paintbrush. Cool, we're getting there. Now remember these these um, canvases have a framework underneath them, so there's a ridge, and sometimes that ridge can be a real pain in the butt because it'll go over it and it'll leave a line. Super weird. So I love this reflection, that one not so much. So I wanna kinda add a little bit of white to this and we're gonna just kinda play with this a little bit more and break it up, kinda like it's hitting the clouds. Okay, so. Back and forth, work quickly through this. Okay, I'm liking that better. Now what ended up happening is we took a lot of that white and it hit the edge. So kind of cover that up a little bit, work that in. Cool, a little bit of blue. And it's all about just kind of finding the balance that, all right, so we gotta do the same on this side, a little blue. So we're not doing it completely dry. This is going to kind of get covered anyways because I just don't want to leave those lines on there. And we're hitting that ridge. Cool. So I'm just holding, you can see from the underside it's got a ridge there. So I'm just holding the canvas up off of the ridge so that it doesn't um, leave that weird mark. Okay, I'm not gonna go much further than that. Um, all right, ridge, let's get funky with me. Cool, okay. There. 
there. So we got like this moon glow, it's hitting the water too. Um, just because I'm kind of a perfectionist, I'm gonna throw a couple more of these in here because if you notice in the water, um, how bright it is and it's not in the sky, that does not look real. So, here we go again. Try this. Thanks for bearing with me, guys. This is a little, it's being a little pain in the butt. This lets you know that I'm human, right? Not all of them just go super smooth, like, oh, look, makes it look so easy. No, it's not. And this is where you can get frustrating and frustrated when you come in and you, you do something that you didn't want to do. See how it's starting to get messy? This is where you can get frustrated. But we're not going to do that. I'm going to stay positive because this is 2020. We're not going to be negative at all about anything. So we're going to go. We're just going to kind of play with this and improvise. Add in some teal. Break that purple up a little bit. This is gonna look okay, we're gonna get there. See, we're starting to get there. Not too worried about this area because we are gonna cover that with, uh, with some trees and some foliage and stuff, but okay. I'm done with that. Cool. Yay! We all made it through that one okay. I was worried. It was getting kind of sketchy there for a minute. So, you still with me? All right, good. I was worried for a second. I have bailed on that spot right there when things kind of get funky. I just, I stop and uh, I don't like it. So I kind of bail and come back to it later. That's totally okay to do that. Um, because, you know, if you're not mentally ready for this or mentally right for uh, a piece, it's going to show. And then it'll get sloppy. So, cool. So we got our sky done. I'm kind of digging it. It looks cool. I don't know if you guys, if it's reflecting, but we're getting some, uh, some cool glow there. Um, then we're going to go in um, with that same purple. Um, we're going to mix a little bit of purple and some black. Um, and my black right here. Cool. All right, so I don't know if you can kind of see where I'm at here with this palette, but we're gonna grab a sponge and we're gonna get going on some purple and we're gonna put this right along this, this line over here and we're gonna kind of build this in. And we want this to kind of walk down here like this um, and so we're using the tip of that to kind of work our way down this, this line. And it's okay if you go over top of the, the white line that you made for the, the center point and the horizon line, because we're gonna go over it again when we start doing some highlights. All right, so we got some purple going here, a little bit more. We wanna set, this is kind of the back foliage, so um, it's okay to kind of come in here with this and, and kind of break it up a little bit, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw in some trees underneath that. Um, and you'll kind of see where we're at. So we got a good layer of purple going. We're gonna grab some of that black and we're gonna do the even further back parts of in black just because it is the darkest and that's the furthest away from the moon glow. So we wanna differentiate that and give us a little bit of depth. Now I like to take this and kind of come into here all the way down into the water um, because you are mimicking what you see up there to a certain extent. I don't get too crazy with it um, because we're gonna kind of come over it with some highlights um, in the water anyways, so, and some low lights, some blacks and things, but we don't want it to shine like this isn't here. So we're kind of mimicking that. Cool, so now we got, that is where we're at with that little purple in that. So it's not black down here and purple up top. So we have some mimickedness there. Cool. All right, we're there. There you go. How we doing? All right, hanging in there. What do we got? Okay, people want to do some painting classes and stuff. Well, I live in Michigan, 
kind of just north of Grand Rapids. Um, I would love to meet you guys and, and have some, some painting classes. That'd be super fun. Um, I've never taken any. Um, we're grabbing some teal. We're going to jump right back into these trees and we're going to kind of um, add another layer. This is all about layering. So we have that dark purple as a back layer. We don't want to cover it completely. Um, so we're just kind of tapping in here a little bit of, of teal, um, which will be our middle foreground. So we got some foliage there. We're also going to kind of come down here and tap some down just so that it looks like maybe some leaves have fallen. You guys have kind of seen that in some of my other pieces. So um, we just kind of keep that same color palette going through. Tap just a hint of white, and then we're going to kind of come in with some white because the moon glow is going to hit that tree. Um, it's going to hit that foliage on this front end, and it's going to highlight this end. We're not going to put white back here because it's not getting all the way back there. It's just a little bit on the front. Add some texture and some depth to it. Um, you don't want to hang out over here dabbing away on this thing or else it'll start turning lavender color, like purple and weird colors through that. Got a little teal. We're adding some teal on top of the white so that it looks like we got some serious depth to it. Cool. I think we're there. This part's easy. Um, especially when you find a, a sponge that it's got a nice little tip to it. So we're dabbing a little bit of white down here just to add some, some highlight and depth to that. Cool. All right. I like it. We're getting there. Cool. Thanks for bearing with me, guys. Um, I, I hope you enjoy this. I hope you, you get something out of it. I've had a lot of people asking me questions, specific questions. A lot of people have been sending me um, sending me their, um, their paintings. Somebody today um, took the time out to, to actually paint the metallic teal tree that we did uh, in the last video. And it was great. It was their first canvas painting. They asked for some pointers. Um, it was, yeah, they're uh, brutally honest. If they wanted some, some pointers, I'm not going to sugarcoat stuff. I'll give you good instruction, I hope. Um, so I thank you for sending me that and, and, sh and showing me what you've done. Um, I've been getting a lot of different things from other people. Um, uh, you know, watercolor paintings and watercolor pen paintings and, and just really awesome stuff that people are doing now. Um, I mean, they're, they're saying I inspire them, but I really think it's just, um, it's just art. We're just sharing it with each other. And that's why I love doing these videos because I want to show you guys kind of where my mind is and, and, and how this kind of comes to fruition and, and what it looks like. So, um, keep sharing with me, keep sharing with each other. Um, art is, is an expression and, and everybody does it differently. So I think it's, it's amazing that, um, I get to see into your, <laughs> your creativity world and, and vice versa. So, um, keep sending them. I love it. Um, you guys are awesome. So I'm going to jump right back in here while this is still wet and we're going to throw in some, some trees. Um, so this, we're going to grab black, um, and we're going to start from the back here and we're just going to kind of frame in some trees and they don't, and you don't have to like always grab black constantly. You can, as you can see, it's going to pull some purple through. Um, that's okay because then those trees look like they're further back than um than real dark ones so it's okay and we're gonna we're gonna kind of cover these up a little bit anyway so um you'll see in a second we'll we'll add some foliage to the front of them so don't worry too much about the bottom um but just kind of get an idea of how you want these trees laid out and then just kind of go for it from there um i like to at least get some that are kind of coming towards these ends um in black all right, so dark, sometimes you can't tell if it's purple or black. So again, as you pick the brush up towards the end, it makes a nice little point, uh, keeping in mind that the base of the tree and the trunk of the tree is always going to be your widest. Um, that was a question somebody had, and, and they wanted me to look at their trees. And uh, the first thing I, I noticed was that their, their trunk was the same size and their branches were the same size from the beginning to the end. So um, that was the first, first thing we took a look at is, all right, well, let's, uh, let's get those branches to kind of, you know, dance a little bit and get thinner as we go out. And that, that you can do by picking up your brush. All right, so we got some back here. Um, cool. We're just going to do one little, one little one at the end here. Kind of buzzing through this real quick. Cool. Somehow I'm going to figure out how to do some music on this stuff, guys, so you don't have to listen to my voice the whole time. 
Okay, cool. So we're gonna kind of end there with that. Um, we're gonna go right back with that sponge. This is gonna give us some foreground foliage. So dab a little purple. Um, we're gonna get right back into in front of these trees. So there we go. We're done with where those trees were. So we didn't need to worry about the bottom of the trees and where they ended up. Um, we were able to just kind of dab over top of them. Um, and we're gonna kind of do the same thing on top to some of these. So it looks like there's some branches kind of coming in front and behind. So we got some in front, some behind. We got some darker colors back here. Purples, cool. Love it. All right, a couple more teal drops in here. If you see some, you know, a little spot with a little bit too much of one color, you can kind of go over it with the other ones. Um, cool. I dig it. You guys dig it? You like that? Does that look cool? All right, neat. So I think we're good with where we are at with the trees. Um, I'll give you guys a close-up look on where that looks like. So um, hopefully that works. It's kind of glaring a little bit. So I'll turn that up for you. Hang tight. All right, so as you can see, we kind of mimicked um, the top and the bottom with that. those trees. Uh, it's darker at the bottom. You'll see um, what we're going to do with kind of how we're going to hide that too. So you guys still hanging with me? Cool. What do we got here? Oh, man, so people are listening to their own music. Um, I had some folks that were wanting to... Um, do their own painting while I was doing one. That was a great idea. Well, oh, that was super cool. Um, so I can't wait to see if they've done that and um, and and send those you know send those photos. Um, when this video is done and I post it, please put your own you know photos on there of your artwork. If you did it with me tonight or you did something else and felt inspired, that's super cool. Um, I appreciate all of that. Um, so we're gonna go in and, and highlight a little bit of these front sides of these trees. Again, we got a moon glow. We're gonna grab a little tiny bit of teal on this one, and we're just gonna hit the front of these trees just a little bit. And I mean, feather a little bit, because we don't wanna to get too crazy. It's gonna take away from the, the foliage and the color and the water and all that stuff. We just wanna be like, okay, so we're watching this, we're looking at this. Oh wow, there's like little highlights in the, in the trees. I didn't notice that at first. So it's those little, you know, Easter, nuggets and whatnot that you know are kind of cool and you, just, you can do that with your own with your own pieces um and uh i dig it so we got a little teal in there um you know i used to go kind of nuts with these and then it, it it started to take away from the the trees themselves the foliage and the, and the real color um and so you know i'm trying to back off with a little of the highlights it's all a learning process guys um you know, everybody's gonna be different. Um, man, I saw some uh, a friend of mine's art today that just blew me away. And you know, everybody's different. Like I said, some people are, their skill level is way further than than the next person. And, and you just um, you appreciate everybody's art in the way that it is, um, and be positive about it and support them. And um, you know, you might be good at something that somebody else isn't, and that is totally cool. All right, so I'm done with that. We're cool, we're cool with that. All right, so this is the fun little palette knife lesson we're gonna go through. So we're gonna grab some white and we are gonna come right back into where this um, shoreline was and we're gonna hit this. And all we're doing is just lightly touching a little bit and moving the palette knife ever so slightly down um, so it's not dabbing in the same spot. Every time we're kind of moving it along like we would if it was a um, like a wave and you can see it's it's slightly picking up some purple which we don't really want we want white waves so you can kind of go over top of them again um, and, and we're just kind of moving this slightly as we move across the canvas just just lightly touching it now, if you guys can see hopefully you can I'm not blocking your view with my right hand, by the way, for those of you who didn't catch that before. So this is kind of fun. I uh, worked with my son Ethan on this a lot. Um, he got a couple of his paintings to a point where he wanted to put some, some highlights in the water and um, 
and we just kind of worked through this a little bit and did this technique and um, he picked it up pretty quick I was super proud of him uh, that's a cool thing you know that that happens in my household is you know I kids know hey dad's gonna go paint and they, they want to be part of it they you know they, they pick it up and they want to do it and they want their own ideas and their own stuff and I'm super proud of them for that because it's uh it's inspiring for me to see what they do okay cool so now we can just kind of get as you move away from the shore these should start to widen out and not be as so close together um, kind of like what, looking at a fence line um, the ones that are further away look like they're really close together when they're not they're all the same so we're just going to kind of hit this a little bit more and then you'll see we're going to grab some black here in a second and kind of do some low lights back here because honestly you know if you got the moon here shining through you're going to catch some of this but it's mainly going to be shadowed by the trees and the land and stuff so we're not going to get too crazy with it all right we're almost there guys can you feel it you almost there i oh, we're losing people dropping like stones i must have said something different or they fall asleep because everybody's gonna work tomorrow yeah i do too <laughs> Not a big fan of that right now. Okay, so I have a little teal on here too. That's kind of cool. So we're gonna put a little teal in that water too with some black highlights, some black low lights, I guess. Um, this adds texture as well. So when you when you see it up close and in person, you're like, wow, that really kind of shines. It's because there's ridges of these black lines um, that are kind of subtle that you don't really pick up on the video. Um, so it's a little tough to, to show you what that looks like, but, um, those of you who have purchased these pieces um, would be able to see that in person. Um, yay, thank you, you guys, just, it looks amazing, it looks good, I love that. Um, you can kind of cover up some of these and blend these lines. You don't want a hard white black line right here. So you just kind of come through a little bit and blur this up a little bit with some black on there um, and it, it'll do that. I'm gonna throw some teal in here because I thought that was kind of cool, just a, just a little bit because there is teal in the trees, so um, I think that's kind of fun. Happy little mistake there, right? And it kind of mimics what the tree it has in it anyways, um, and they're just little subtle flex. We're not like putting a huge line in there. Um, just kind of throwing it in there. And I think we're pretty near close to being done with this. I like it. 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 All right. Just break up a little of this shoreline because I can't imagine it'd be all that bright. Cool. All right. Guess what, guys? I think we're ready for a signature in this. Um, so again, didn't take very long. Uh, we had a little, little hiccup with that that sky, which can happen. Um, and you just got to stay confident and calm. It's like all of a sudden losing control of your car on the ice. <laughs> you can just panic and it's all going to go to go to crap in a hurry. But um, I think uh, we recovered pretty well. And actually, I like it. It's, it's kind of, it's got some character to it. So um, I'm going to take questions here in one second as soon as I put my P-dub on this and call it good. All right, folks. Um, there is your moon glow horizon um, tropical scene with some highlights in the trees, highlights on the tree themselves, some moon glow in the water, um, and then you got the highlights in the water as well. So uh, again, this was on a 12 by 24 piece. Um, I'll take some questions and answer anything anybody's got. Um, all right, any questions, anyone? Well, thank you for all the hearts and, and everything. I appreciate everybody watching tonight. Um, I'm gonna try to do one of these every couple of days if I can. Um, something different next time, obviously. Um, 
ideas are always welcome. I appreciate everybody, um, you know, sending out ideas and, and thoughts and colors and everything too. Um, I do have some cool metallics that I want to kind of play with and, and do some things with. Um, yes, I have tried pine trees. Um, pine trees are, are fun. Um, you can use, um, maybe a little, I have a fan brush close by. Hopefully you do, you know. If you guys know what a fan brush is, um, of course you can catch me off guard with a fan brush question. Um, see if I have one here real quick. Okay, of course, I don't see one. Anyways, um, yeah, a fan brush, you'd use a fan brush for um, doing pine trees. Um, and yeah, and they're, they're fun. Um, I actually, my son did one the other day that was, was kind of neat. Um, uh, my regular job, I am, um, I am a case manager, um, at a community mental health, um, for adults with mental illness. Um, so I love what I do. Um, I'm not intending on <laughs> being a full-time artist. Um, so that, that I love doing that. Um, helping people is kind of at my core. So, um, thanks Liz for asking that. Um, any other questions? Good night. Some of you are taking off. I appreciate that. We got some sticking around and any questions about, um, anything else? Um, this, this piece will be up for sale. Um, these are, uh, this size is, is a hundred dollars, uh, plus shipping. Uh, I package those up and get those out and, uh, pretty quick. Sorry, my eyes are a little dry. I go over contact. So that's why my eyes are kind of twitching around. Um, any other questions? Uh, we still have about 40 people or so that are watching. Hi, and some folks just joining us. Um, I'll give you guys a little show here of the, what this looks like. We got uh, some of you have, may have caught this at the end. Um, did a fun little piece. So this is like number five, I think, of, of these. So this one was a little challenging with the moon in the middle, but uh, it was fun. Um, you guys are super nice. I appreciate all your comments, all your love and support. Um, I'm really taking a, a super positive approach to 2020. Um, I'm really excited about it. Uh, kind of, you know, it's not one of those things on New Year's Day, you say I'm gonna go on a diet and then it's gonna work. Um, I've kind of been prepping for 2020 with um, with all the positivity and, and the quotes and, and reading um, a lot of things, um, some scripture and um, I am a Christian, hope that doesn't offend anybody, um, but uh, you know, reading some positive things, um, talking to positive people, um, just all your positivity has been helping me um, uh, stay on the right tra track as far as, uh, you know, staying true to my art and things like that. So 2020 is going to be awesome. Uh, I appreciate all your shares um, and everything like that. Um, so uh, I will be starting a YouTube channel here soon and I uh, hope you guys will follow that. I'll be making some announcements about that um, and getting that out to everybody. So um, I appreciate everything um, you guys are, are sending my way and positivity and everything. So uh, I think we're going to wrap this up. And um, again, appreciate everybody uh, tuning in. And, uh, you know, if you didn't get a chance to, um, you know, you'd be watching this uh, recorded. So I uh, can't wait to see what you guys have done uh, for your pieces that you were working on. And uh, uh, I appreciate it a ton. And um, again, I love you guys. You're awesome. Um, 2020, stay positive, help each other out, um, and, uh, be positive. All right. We'll catch you later. Thanks.